Hello, so in this video, I will show you how to install this. This is a MIC Plus version 2 Raspi Audio Shield. So it has two speakers, one detachable microphone here. Um, and how to insert it on the Raspberry Pi to enable audio. You just insert the 40 pin header just like this and that's it uh, on board you have two speakers one microphone one high quality audio jack here and here on the green terminal you could extend with an external speaker so if you need for example to plug to um, the old speaker you have uh, and you have a push button and the LED. The push button and the LED are just linked to input output and in case you need it for any application. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the power of this device is two times five watts. Um, so it's quite powerful and the little black speaker on board are actually quite powerful as well. It's surprising. Uh, on the top here you have a 40 pin header. I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually plug maybe another shield on top if needed. Uh, and this black connector is actually a screen, a screen connector. The, the little I2C screen, if you need it. Uh, and the DAC is a 24-bit DAC, uh, 192 kHz, if I'm right. Okay, let's jump into it, how to install it. So just flash as usual your Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry Pi Imager. Uh, I selected the Raspberry Pi 5, 64 bit. <coughs> so I will not go through that process. Once done, you have an SD card. Uh, on that SD card, you, you could edit the config.t txt all right step number one well on the guideline uh, i say that you also can edit this config file directly in the pi os but maybe it is simpler to do it on your desktop computer so config.txt you will comment so add a pound sign uh, here it's already added so just comment this line and you will add this line dt overlay equal google voice hat here okay once is once it is done you just save it and start your raspberry pi by inserting the SD card. So, okay, the Raspberry OS is here. Uh, you will see now that you have two new icons. The first one is a speaker with volume control, as well for the microphone here. So let's try to play something. So just open a terminal window. and type in this command speaker test paste it front left front right front left front right front left front right front left front right front left so audio is working fine now
So, uh, know how to record. To record, you need to first run raspy config. So you will do sudo raspy config. Oh, sorry, I forgot the G. Yes. Uh, and you will go in advanced options, audio configuration and you will select Pulse Audio. Pulse Audio is active. And you finish. In short, Pulse Audio is a middleware that will basically do the volume control uh, between your hardware device and your software application where you are using the, the sound. So to record audio, we will use this command here provided in the shit provided in the guide ah so it's a record and it will generate test.wave file let's try it so right now it's recording one two one two one two one two one two going near the microphone it will just make a 10 second test wave file and to play it you just type a play test dot wave well maybe you cannot hear it but it's playing back but the volume is quite low quite low so how to increase the volume to increase the volume we will type this command to list all the devices we have using pulse audio um, so it's quite messy uh, why is it yes you'll see input on zero output one source one source zero okay so the recording device is device one so to increase the volume of device one i just type in this command all right so it will increase by 200 percent and I just can record again. One, two, one, two, one, two, test, one, two, one, two. And play it back. Playing it back. If I can, yeah. Play it again so you can hear. So it's recording for 10 seconds. Test one, two, one, two, test one, two, one, two. All right. Um, you could also use graphical device with a nice graphical interface installing a software called PayView Control and if you just type in PayView Control after installation uh, you have a graphical interface where you could set up actually go above the 100 percent both for output and for input you see that the input right now is at 200 percent also um, you could also use alza alza mixer if you want to, to 
to change the sound. Um, but be sure to select the pulse audio device. Um, and if you press F5, you will both see the capture, so the recording, and the playing uh, device. This is actually the same thing that will be able you will be able to control with PayView control. Uh, all right, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye bye.